All right, guys, so now that we've got our firmware set, let's go back and click connect now. And you can see our errors are gone, but we're always gonna click reset Z-axis and calibrate accelerometer. Keep everything pointed away from you, please, as always. And now let's look at what we've got going on here. So this, this board is not gonna support smart audio, so don't worry about adding smart audio here. But go ahead and turn on UART1. That's gonna be your receiver uh, port. And that's pretty much all that we're gonna use at this time. So click save and reboot, okay? And then click connect again. And now we're gonna to go to the configuration tab and let's see what we've got here. Uh, we're not gonna use a magnetometer or a barometer, so you can turn those off. Uh, let me see what else. We can go ahead and name your craft name. Uh, I'm just gonna call it DB5-A, uh, DB, uh, uh, I guess, for the analog series. Um, and let me see what they've got going on here. Uh, I'm gonna turn air mode off, turn telemetry on. Uh, let's see. Um, I don't think there's gonna be anything else needed right now, so I'm just gonna click save and reboot. Click connect. Uh, let's see, onboard ADC for voltage, that's fine. Everything looks good there. I'm not gonna mess with any of this right now. Uh, let's go to our, um, let's go to our receiver tab. Now for this receiver, we are running a an XM I believe we've got an XM plus in here. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna go to serial UART and then we're gonna drop this down and go to uh, S bus. And that should be it for the time being. We'll have a whole nother section on just setting up the receiver. Let's connect again. And okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get started with the motors here. Uh, we have not done a firmware update on this yet uh, on the ESC. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop at this point and we're gonna disconnect. Um, let me make sure, yeah, that should be good. So we're gonna disconnect, all right? And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get ready to load BL Heli. So go ahead and open BL Heli. Okay, and once that's open, you can come down to your drop down menu here and you're gonna see COM88, which should match what you had up here, COM88. Highlight that, but do not click connect yet because you have to give this drone power first, right? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in our drone uh, I've got a smoke stopper around here somewhere. Uh, I'm not sure where it went, but if you have a smoke stopper, I would encourage you to use it. Um, and mine is disappeared somewhere. So uh, I would love to use mine, but I don't know where it went. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna plug mine in. I've already done, we already did the continuity test. So we're gonna turn this on. Okay, and now that it's on, what we're gonna do here is we are gonna click read setup. Okay, and we're gonna look and see what everything's got. We're gonna click okay. 16.7 is the newest update, but just in case your ESC says different, what I want you to do is I want you to click flash BL heli. And we're just gonna go through the process. Click okay, click yes, and let's just flash it anyway. There's no harm in doing it again. Um, just in case somebody's isn't working or somebody needs help with that, we're gonna go ahead and knock, knock that out real quick, okay? So that's gonna be ESC one, that's okay. So now we're gonna click okay. We're gonna get prompted for ESC two. Click yes or okay and then yes. All right. Then we're gonna go to ESC3. Click okay. And then click okay and then yes. All right, and then we're gonna to go to ESC4, click okay, and then yes. Awesome, now once that's done, everything's loaded, everything is, is up to date. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to click disconnect. And you will turn the power off. So basically unplug your LiPo if you're using a LiPo battery, I'm using a AC to DC converter, but basically disconnect this so that you have no power and then go ahead and remove your USB port as well, your USB cable. Now you can plug your USB cable back in. All right. And then what I want you to do is I want you to go back to beta flight and I want you to click connect and remember, do your reset, do your calibrate. Then I want you to go to motors and I want you to make sure obviously there's no props on. So let's I've got it angled like this because I'm about to plug my battery back in, but make sure you don't have any props on. 
Then what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and click this option right here that says I understand the risk. You're basically gonna get ready to arm it. And I want you to take the master slider here and go all the way up to where everything's maxed at 2000, all right? Then I want you to plug in your battery and listen for the tones. When those tones are done, I want you to take the master slider and bring it down. Once that's done, I want you to go ahead and turn this off right here, flip that off, and then click disconnect. Then I want you to go back to your BL Heli and click read setup. Okay, and you see where it says right here, not in sync with master. Well, it considers motor one to be the master motor. So it's saying that motor two is not in sync. Motor three and motor four are. So let's see what's different about motor two. So click okay. Now, what we're doing is we're paying attention to right here. Okay, min throttle and max throttle. So we're gonna right click on motor one. So make sure to right click to isolate it. And you have a min throttle of 1012 and a max throttle of 2000. Right click on motor two. And this is the difference. Your max throttle is 1996. Right click on motor three, 2000, 1012 and 2000. Right click on motor four, 1012 and 2000. All right, so the only difference really between all the motors is that in motor two, the motor can only show a max throttle of 1996, which means you must make 1996 the max throttle for all the motors, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna left click on each of the motors to where they're all showing up again. And we're going to go to max throttle and we're going to drop them all to 1996 and we're going to click right setup all right now i'm going to do this again and i'm going to show you guys something so that i can explain this a little bit better hey sam do you have a i know i'm just calling you out right now and you just sat down but do you have a piece of paper i can borrow do you know where i could get a piece of paper Yeah, I'll get you one. okay so guys what i'm going to do is i'm going to um i'm going to we're going to actually let's just finish with the bl heli real quickly um, and that way you guys can put your drones aside too. So let's do that. There we go. Okay. Once that's done, we're going to click okay. All right. And then, uh, what we're going to do next is we are going to, before we get out of anything, we are going to remove this check mark right here where it says programming by TX. And we're going to click right setup again. And now all four motors are going to have it to where it's not being a, you, you cannot do that option anymore where you put full throttle, turn it on and, and recalibrate the SE. It's no longer going to be able to be programmed that way. And that helps for accidental uh, times where some people have put it into programming by accident. This removes the option altogether. All right. Yeah. Now, with that said, we're going to click disconnect. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, before we go any further, guys, I do want to explain this to you. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to turn off my battery and you can unplug it. I'm going to set this aside. So just go ahead and unplug yours. You can pull your USB out. And I'm just going to do something on paper here so you guys can see what we just did, all right? Because I feel like I need to explain this a little bit more. So here's the deal. Let me get a pen. Let me get something, maybe a harder surface to write on. I don't know. Let me see. <laughs> I don't think I have anything, so we'll just write on this stuff for this. Okay, so here's what we were doing, right? So you have a max and you have a min throttle, right? And so what they're saying is, okay, you have, well, I should do it like this, motor one, motor two, motor three, and motor four, and then you have min and you have max. Now, in this case, we had, let's say, I don't remember the numbers exactly, but let's say with a 1012, 1012, 1012, and 1012. And then we had 2000, and I think we had 1996, and then 2000, and then 2000, right? Okay, so what this is telling us, right, is that the fastest, right, the maximum that motor two can spin is a value of 1996, all right? But motor one can spin at 2000, three, uh, three can do 2000, and four can do 2000. What that means is that all three of these motors can also do 1996, right? But motor two cannot do 2000. So we need to get all of these motors synchronized. We need to get the ESC synchronized with these motors. So we find the lowest the highest value what, that all three can uh, obtain under the max value. So since the highest value that we know all three can do is 1996, I mean all four, we're gonna set them all to 1996. So the slowest maximum value or the lowest maximum value, right? Lowest max value is what you put in all the spots. So if you had, now let's look at the min value, right? So each motor can do 10, 12. But let's assume, for example, motor three could do 1016, right? 
What that means is that motor 3 cannot spin slow enough or get low enough of a value to reach 1012. But all these motors can go 1016 and then 1012. So what we would do is we would raise all of them to 1016. Now in this case, all the mins were the same. But for the minimum value, the highest min value, okay? So in this case, with this example, if 1016 was the highest, or let's say you had 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 16, 10, 18. Well, we know that all of them could do 10, 18. Three of them could do 10, 16, and only two of them could do 10, 12. So all four of them would go to 10, 18. So it becomes the highest minimum value. And if we had on the maximum values, if the maximum values were 1996, 1994, 2000, and 2004, all of them could reach 1994. Only three of them could reach 1996. Only two could reach 2000, only could, so which means all of them would be 1994. You find the lowest maximum value, which means all the motors can reach it. I hope that makes sense, but that's what we're doing here, right? In this case, all we had was one maximum value that was off, so we adjusted all the motors to be able to reach that one maximum value. And that's it. So we are now done with BL Heli for the time being, but don't close it, okay? We're gonna be right back now to check motor direction and finish this off. So I'll see you in just a